Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. The Premier League's biggest rivalry took centre stage as Solskjaer's United prepared to host Klopp's Liverpool. Liverpool desperately needed the win to keep their Champions League hopes in their own hands. United needed the win to maintain their momentum of late, looking ahead to the Europa League final. And in the end, Liverpool came out on top, 4-2 thanks to a Firmino double, Jota and Salah, whilst Rashford and Fernandes netted for United. The XG indicated it was a well-deserved win, but both sides had their chances, 2.94 to 1.71. But what tactics did both managers use? Let's take a look. A quick reminder of the formations used by both sides, as seen on the OneFootball app. OneFootball will get you match updates, formation updates, as well as player and team stats, and so much more. And the best part is, you can get it absolutely free through the sponsored link in the description below. We'll begin with United in possession. In the first half, though Liverpool did look to press at times, with Salah and Jota coming narrow, it was less effective than it was in the second half, so United were often able to come out in their 4-2-3-1. And at times, in the process of pressing, Liverpool's midfield were too keen to push up, leaving space between the lines where Fernandes did look dangerous at times. But with Salah and Jota pressing high up, United could take advantage of the wide areas. Down the left, when Salah was slow to track back, we often saw Pogba move in to the midfield, while Shaw was always keen to overlap on the outside and this left Trent isolated 2 versus 1, so as a result, if he was too wary of Shaw, Pogba would get the room to turn. However, if he was touched tight to Pogba, Shaw could get in on the outside to look for the cross. We saw similar down the right, as Jota was often slow to track back after a Liverpool attack, whilst Wan Bissaka would be quick to push up, and this would often create a 2 vs 1 against Robertson. This was particularly effective when Rashford had moved infield taking Robertson with him, and Pogba from this inside left position could then manoeuvre the switch out to the wide man where they could then combine to take advantage of this 2 vs 1. We see shades of this in Fernandez's goal. United win the ball, and initially Jota is in a great position to track one Bissaka. With Shaw overlapping, Pogba tucks in and plays the switch out to Rashford, and although Wijnaldum has tried to cover, it means that he's vacated this midfield position where he would have been able to stop the Wambasaka run. So instead, Wambasaka is then played in on the underlap, and he cuts it back, leading to the deflected goal. But in the second half, Liverpool's pressing game was strong, partly shown by the difference in the amount of times Henderson was forced long compared to the first half. With Lindelof and Bailly deep to receive, Jota and Salah in the narrow positions were ready to press, whilst Firmino dropped deeper to cover one pivot. The press shape could vary, as Wijnaldum could move into this halfway position to try and cover both Shaw and the second pivot, allowing Trent to remain deeper. This cut off all the high percentage passes, so when United did try to force the short passes, it often led to turnovers in dangerous positions. However, Wijnaldum or Thiago could also move infield and initially leave the pass into Shaw open, from where Trent could then look to close him down quickly with the back three shifting across to cover him. We see this in the lead up to Firmino's goal. United's narrow centre backs look to begin the play short. Salah and Jota High are ready to press, with Firmino and Thiago covering the pivots. Trent is deeper initially, so Shaw is free. As soon as Fred receives, he's under pressure, and where Shaw had appeared free, Trent springs forward quickly to intercept. His cross is then cleared halfway, and he stays high to have a shot, which Henderson then spills into Firmino's path. One adaptation Oli made was bringing on Greenwood for Fred, which allowed Pogba to move into a pivot position, and he's much better under pressure than Fred, helping United to play through the press more effectively. 
and in fact, his on-the-ball ability kickstarts the Rashford goal. Pogba is deeper helping to play out, and Liverpool use their usual pressing shape with the wingers narrow and Firmino deep. As discussed, Liverpool's midfield could be caught pressing high, and when Pogba switched to a pivot position, Liverpool almost always assigned a man to him, so Fabinho has been dragged out of position. And Pogba is able to find the longer ball to Shaw, and Trent can't press because of Fernandez's positioning. Shaw then finds Bruno, who as discussed could find space between the lines, and the ball runs through to Rashford, who plays an excellent 1-2 with Cavani for the goal. Let's touch on a couple of elements when Liverpool were in possession. United did press at times when Alisson had the ball, with Pogba joining Cavani and Fernandes to make it almost man-to-man, -man, whilst Fred and McTominay covered the Liverpool midfield. This would make it difficult to progress through the centre at times, leading to some dangerous turnovers. As the game went on, Firmino looked to drop into the midfield so that United's pivots would be outnumbered, allowing Liverpool to progress. But for the most part, Cavani was the sole presser, meaning Liverpool could move higher up the pitch and could build with just the two, as the centre-backs would naturally outnumber Cavani. Crucially, this would mean both full-backs would move high and wide up the pitch early to provide the width as both of their wingers came narrow. And United faced a similar defensive problem to Liverpool, as Rashford could be slow to track back at times, meaning that Robertson was free. And down the right, Pogba was too narrow at times, meaning Trent could receive, but in these scenarios, Pogba was often able to track back on time. Liverpool adapted, however. We often saw Thiago or Fabinho move out to the right to receive the ball, and Pogba would then be drawn into pressing the man, leaving Shaw 2 vs 1 down. If Shaw looked to close down Trent, Salah could make a run into the space. But more commonly, Shaw stayed deep, meaning that Trent had acres of space in which to operate and looked to create with incisive crosses and passes, ending with a team high 5 key passes and the most touches for the team as a result. But with Robertson so high, Liverpool were also vulnerable on the break and in the first half in particular, Rashford could make run after run as he stayed a bit higher. Overall, United would be disappointed to lose to their bitter rivals, and this is a massive win for Liverpool, who can make a serious charge for fourth place. Klopp's second half changes to the press made all the difference, and he will be confident of finishing the season strong. But what did you make of the match? Drop it down below. A quick shout out to my Patreons for helping to make this video possible. If you want to support, head on over to patreon.com slash simple and you'll get rewards like early access to videos and exclusive content. But that's all for today and remember, keep it simple.